Now we're set for the men's 100 meter breaststroke, the gold medal swim. The world record, Olympic record, American record, all one and the same, held by Steve Lundquist of the USA when he won Olympic gold at Los Angeles four years ago. John, how do you assess this field? Well, actually, it's going to be probably a world record swim itself. There'll certainly be a record pace at the wall. Lundquist, you remember, won over the fact that John Moffat pulled a groin muscle in 1984. You're going to see a lot of athletes in here, two or three of which were in that race in Los Angeles. There is Richard Schroeder, 26 years old, the only American swimmer in the race. He's from Santa Barbara, California, the oldest member of the U.S. male Olympic swimming team. The main rival for him is Adrian Morehouse, and he gave us some thoughts about taking on this Great Britain swimmer. I think he will be. I think uh, he had a disappointing 84 Olympics, and he's going to be hungry, but I'm hungry too. There is Adrian Morehouse, 24 years old, from Great Britain. He was, you see, fourth in the breaststroke. And this breaststroke 100 meters at the 84 games and was so disappointed he retired briefly as did Richard Schroeder. So let's take a look now and meet the swimmers. Richard Schroeder, 26 years old, swimming for the USA in lane one. He was the seventh fastest qualifier. In lane two, Giovanni Minervini from Italy swam collegially with an NCAA champion at UCLA, a brilliant student. He is studying chemistry and engineering at UCLA and he's a threat. In lane three, from the Soviet Union, Dmitry Volkov, 22 years old. Dmitry Volkov was troubled by an injury, but has come back nicely. Adrian Morehouse in lane four. He was the fastest qualifier. One of the premier sprint breaststrokers in the world. He was first in the 86 World Championships in this event, but later disqualified for an illegal term. In lane five, we have Victor Davis of Canada, another top contender. He won in 84 at the Olympic Games in the 200-meter breaststroke and set a world record. He won the gold medal in the 100-meter breaststroke at the uh, 1986 World Championships after Morehouse was disqualified. This is a man who has a bit of a temper at the Commonwealth Games in Canada one year in the presence of Queen Elizabeth. He kicked a chair in disgust over his time. He was mad, didn't care who knew it. Lane six is Karoli Gutler, a Hungarian swimmer. Lane seven from East Germany is Christian Pozwiat. And in lane eight, another Hungarian, Hungary with two swimmers in this final, Thomas Debnar with the good hat. So he swims in lane eight. You know, Don, what I hear is the lanes three and five are going to go out for it. The first 50, they're really drop-dead sprinters. are going to really go for it. Davis, I'm sorry, isn't a drop-dead sprinter. He's a world record owner in the 200, so he thinks he'll have enough to hang on. Soviet Dmitry Volkov in lane three is just going to go out as fast as he possibly can. And Morehouse will be basically pulled along in between. Them. This is the slowest of the four swimming strokes, the breaststroke. The race is two lengths of this 50-meter pool. There's the favorite fastest qualifier, Adrian Morehouse. He spent time in his career training in the Soviet Union. Difficult stroke, isn't it, John? There's a lot of coordination, a lot of synchronization between the kick and the pull. They have to be done separately but in sync. Well, perhaps I'm oversimplifying it, but it's like tapping your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. You've got to do it for a long time, and timing is so critical. They're on the blocks. This is the gold medal swim in the men's 100-meter breaststroke. Ball start. Ball start. Giovanni Minervini from UCLA. He shaved his head last night since the preliminaries. He really wants to do a job on this. It's really going to be interesting. They go. They get in their set position. You take a look at lane two. It'll be second from the top. This is Giovanni Minervini. He's going to just lean too much. The starter sees him leaning, and he goes. Richard Schroeder in the lane next to him says, well, if he's going to get wet and loosen down, I might as well also. Now, that ball start is charged to the entire field. So on the third time... A swimmer who falls starts the third time, regardless of whether they were at fault in the first two, will get automatically disqualified. I should note one real, th real quick thing. Morehouse in lane four did a dolphin kick at the World Championships off the wall. That is cause for disqualification. There was a similar instance in 1972 when a Japanese swimmer was accused of this, but officials don't like controversy at the Olympics. So the question is, will Morehouse use that knowledge and try to get away with something, or will he stick to the letter of the law? That's what we're wondering. And that's what we're going to find out right now. They're away, it is a good start. The men's 100-meter breaststroke. Out of the dive, swimming well in lane three is 
is Dmitry Volkov from the Soviet Union, and he has the lead after the first 25 meters. Running in the yellow cap. He's going for it, no question about it. Giovanni Minervini in lane two, assuming well also. Schroeder's come out nicely in lane one for the USA at the top of your screen. As they go to the turn, and now 50 meters to the medals. 50 meters to go in the men's 100-meter breaststroke, and they are faster than the world record split. They comfortably so, Don. Six-tenths of a second. That's a big chunk in the 100. Richard Schroeder, the USA, is starting to contend, but right now, Dmitry Volkov is still leading the race. The 22-year-old Soviet, who was out with a serious hand injury, came back to qualify well yesterday, and now, with 10 meters to swim, heading for the wall and the finish, it is Dmitry Volkov. Going for gold, coming up fast is Adrian Morehouse, who might touch him out, and it looks like it might be Morehouse. It is Adrian Morehouse, wins Olympic gold in the men's 100-meter breaststroke. Just touching out, Gutler of Hungary, who also closed quickly as the Soviet faded, and Volkov, who led, but looked like he was going to go start to finish, ended up third for the bronze. The American swimmer, Schroeder, was sixth in the race. Most amazing finish. Take a look here. The Soviets leading. Morehouse at the bottom of the screen is going to go for him. As, the, as we open up the picture, you see just at the bottom in lane six, the Hungarian has probably got a lead, but he makes a lunge. Morehouse makes the lunge at the better time. The Hungarian lunged too soon and ran up short. Adrian Morehouse ran him down from the rear. An amazing swim. And now let's take a look at the official results of the men's 100-meter breaststroke. Morehouse of Great Britain is the winner. He gets gold. Gutler of Hungary is second. Silver. Volkov of the Soviet Union gets the bronze. For John Neighbor, this is Don Crickey at Swimming. That race only minutes ago at the Olympic indoor swimming pool behind me. Morehouse of Great Britain first, then Gutler of Hungary, Volkov of the USSR. As Don Crickey noted, Richard Schroeder of the United States finished sixth. He's got the completion of the story now from over at the indoor swimming pool. Once again, let's go back to Don and John. Thank you very much, Brian. It was a very disappointed Schroeder who, mainly John, sat in the corner for a while, kind of reflecting on what didn't go well, just as it didn't for him in 84 at the Los Angeles game. You know, it was interesting, Don, the start of the race, the most amazing performance by this man here, the Soviet, Zolkov. You watch him as he takes off. This is the second start. We had one false start. He explodes. It's a fair start to here. Everyone hits the water. Now watch him underwater. He's going to make a huge surge right there. See that? Half a body length on the underwater pull. Explodes to the surface. Has half a body length lead. And everyone else, including Schroeder at the top of the screen, are really put in a position of having to run this guy down. He touches the wall at the 50, six tenths of a second ahead of world record pace. We still don't see the world record at the end of the race, so that it tells you how fast he went out. Schroeder, a real valiant effort. I've never seen a man so despondent after a race. He was inside, sure, he had this in the bag. Outside lane, he loved that position. You just look at this. The guy's broken. And that wasn't an autograph he was signing. That's just an official form he has to sign at the completion of the race. So Schroeder came back out of retirement after his disappointment in 84, and now comes back only to be disappointed again in 88. The oldest member of our men's swimming team, 26. This is kind of scary because he's got to get up again for the men's medley relay. And if he's not back in top form, if he's looking like this as he walks to the blocks, we're in deep trouble. This is a guy who gave up a paying job at Price Waterhouse to come back to swim. Old Rich not a happy camper at this moment, but he will be back. 